Hello my dear children. In today's science class, we will discuss about a new chapter, chapter number 2, components of food. Now, the learning objectives are, first, the components of food, their sources and significance, a balanced diet, next, and a deficiency disease. Before starting this chapter, we already learned in our first chapter that different type of food item we consumed. Now, the question is why we are taking this different type of food items? If our meal have a single kind of food, then what problem arises? To find out all this type of answer, we deal this second chapter. Then let's start. First, what is meal? The food eaten at a particular time of the day is called meals. Now, there are three types of meals we consume in a day. First, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Nutrients. Nutrients are chemical substance present in our food which provided energy and materials needed by the body to live and grow. Now, seven nutrients are there. Number one, carbohydrate, fat, minerals, proteins, vitamins, fibers and water. Each component of these nutrients are important for our body to function it properly. Now, let us learn one by one in their detailed form. First, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is a energy giving compound. They are mainly two types. One is sugar, also known as simple carbohydrate. Other one is starch, also known as complex carbohydrate. Examples are potato, bread, wheat, etc. Next, cellulose. Important information for you children. Cellulose and glycogen. Cellulose is also a complex carbohydrate and found in the cell wall of the plants. Whereas glycogen is formed in animals, especially in muscles and liver cells. Fats. Fats is also energy giving compound. Produce more energy than carbohydrates. Fats stored in our body keep the body warm and act as an insulator. Example, butter, meat, egg, different type of oils, etc. Excessive intake of fat is not good for our health. It can increase the cholesterol in our blood, which may result in high blood pressure and heart diseases. Clear children? Proteins. Proteins is a body building compound needed for growth and maintenance of the body. It can be obtained from plant source as well as animal source. Plant source like pea, corn, gram, etc. are the example of to obtain proteins. And animal sources like milk, egg, fish, etc. Next, one more important point for you children. Total requirement of proteins in children like you is 20 to 35 gram per day and in teenager 50 grams per day. So, take adequate amount of protein every day. Vitamins. Vitamins is a protective food 
no food value required in small quantities important for proper functioning of the body now you can understood children it is though it is required small quantity no food value but without vitamin our body is not proper functioning okay now come to next important point each vitamins play a specific role number 1 vitamin a keeps our eye and skin healthy vitamin b releasing energy and formation of blood cells vitamin c keeps teeth gum and bones healthy vitamin d makes our bones and teeth strong next vitamin e keeps our body and skin healthy and last vitamin k helps in clotting of blood understood children minerals like vitamins minerals are also protective food no food value required in small quantities and important for proper functioning of the body now there are some important minerals first iron it is essential for formation of hemoglobin hemoglobin means a red pigmentation which is present in our red blood cell next deficiency of iron it causes anemia next irons are present in green leafy vegetables peas and etc come to iodine one more important minerals iodine is necessary for keeping the body healthy deficiency of iodine it causes goiter it is present in iodized salt seafood etc next come to calcium and phosphorus essential for the formation of bones and teeth it is present in milk egg cheese etc so children take every day two glasses of milk right fiber or roughage the fiber that we take is called dietary fiber though it has no nutritive value yet it is important in the process of digestion example roughage or fibers is provided by the plants product only one is whole grains like wheat rice etc and carrot cabbage etc next a high fiber diet reduces the risk of heart diseases and bowel cancer and it also prevent constipation clear children seventh important component is water 70% of the human body is made of water our body needs 2 to 3 liters water every day it act as a medium and it is needed by our body to perform various vital roles clear excessive loss of water from the body result dehydration to prevent dehydration we should drink enough water and also ors to treat it hope this all seven component is clear to you all balanced diet a diet containing all the nutrients in adequate quantities is known as balanced diet it provides the body with all the essential nutrients 
energy required by the body for its growth and maintenance it is not the same for everyone it varies with age sex and the type of occupation for example a young child needs to eat more protein rich food for rapid growth and a labor needs more carbohydrate as he needs more energy for doing hard work clear children last topic from this chapter is deficiency disease disease which occur due to the deficiency of one or more essential nutrients in the diet are called deficiency disease excessive intake of food is called overeating and it leads to obesity deficiency of carbohydrates leads to body weakness and loss of stamina and the last one deficiency of proteins leads to stunt growth skin problem and discoloration of our hair hope this full chapter is clear to you all thank you